Okay, so for this video, I decided to do something a little different, right? Because usually it's just me sitting here talking to you and showing you my flashcards because that's how I like to do my lessons with flashcards. Um, but they're boring and they just have words and you're just reading them and listening to me talk. And I'm sorry, even though I know I'm super hilarious, it's still, you know, it's not super exciting to just sit here and listen. So today what I'm going to do is I actually drew some pictures and then I'm going to take you on a little, um, I guess, a walk around my dad's yard. I'm in my dad's house right now. Um, because we're talking about adjectives again. I know, I know. Miss Boston, we already talked about adjectives. You told us about adjectives in class and you did an adjectives lesson last week. I know, guys. I know. I know. Okay. But I want to cover it again. I want to make sure you guys know. So like I said, today I drew pictures. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining about what adjectives are um, initially because you should know because I covered it last week and I covered it in class. Um. But I'm just going to remind you that an adjective describes a noun, which is a person, place, or thing, right? You should know that too. Um, so it can be a color, it can be a feeling, it can be all kinds of things, right? It's a describing word. So I'm going to show you some pictures, and I'm going to have you guys come up with some adjectives that describe these pictures. And then I'm going to walk around the yard, and I'm going to ask you to think of some adjectives that describe the yard too. The quiz that I upload is actually going to be based on this video. So I'm going to say things like, um, what is an adjective to describe this, right? So I want you to think about it and I want you to really pay attention as I'm showing you things, okay? So the first card I said, like I said, I have some flashcards here, but then we're gonna walk around. Uh, the first one I have is this, okay? So I know it's harder, right? When you don't have the words to read, you have to come up with the adjectives on your own. That's why it's challenging, okay? So what is an adjective you think to describe this? I'll give you a minute and then I'll, I'll help you with this one. The rest of them I'm not gonna help you with. You're gonna do them on your own. Okay, so an adjective we could describe this is angry, right? He looks angry. He looks angry. I know I'm not the best drawer in the world, but I try. Um, look, he looks angry. So angry could be a, a, a describing adjective. Okay, what about this one? It's a sun, right? Well, you know that. Okay, what's an adjective we can use to describe this sun? What about orange? not an orange, right? It's yellow. It's yellow. This is a yellow sun. Okay. So our adjective to describe this would be yellow. Is that the only adjective? I'm sure you can come up with them, some other ones, but yellow is what I was going for in this picture. Okay. What about this one? An apple, right? An apple. What is an adjective to describe this apple? Well, I could say it's shiny. Look, you can see it's shiny right there. I could say it's red, right? Those are adjectives to describe this. I could say it has a brown stem and it has a green leaf. Those are also adjectives to describe this. Okay, what about this? So this was a little hard for me to do um, because I wanted to show you different adjectives, right? But it's hard to show you what wide means if I don't show you what narrow means, right? So I had to draw two of them on some pictures. So an adjective to describe this one would be wide, right? The tree is wide. And an adjective to describe this one would be narrow. The tree is narrow, okay? There's other adjectives you can think of for this. I want you to think of them on your own. I'll give you a minute. Can you think of one? What about this tree has green leaves or this tree has a brown trunk? Okay, adjectives. Yeah. What about this one? Okay. So there's two adjectives, one for each of these little things. What are they called? Um, a small turtle and a big turtle, right? This, the word big describes what this turtle is like. It is a big green turtle and this is a small green turtle. What about this one? So this one we have small or short and we have big or tall, right? And those describe what they look like. What's an adjective that would describe this one? Would you say that he's happy? Would you say that he's angry? Maybe. We're going for a sad. An adjective to describe this picture is sad. What about this one? Does he look sad? No, he looks happy. Look. <laughs> happy. Happy would be a good adjective to describe this one. Okay. What about this one? Hmm. Well, it's a flower. What's an adjective to describe this flower? You could say it's a big flower. You could say it's a yellow flower. You could say it has a green stem, okay? 
but it is a flower that is yellow with a green stem. Okay, you have to use those adjectives. You can't just tell me, Miss Boston, it's a flower. Well, I know it's a flower, but what does it look like? You have to tell me. You have to use your, your describing words, your adjectives. Okay, so now we're going to go on a walk. Oh, I've never done this before, so this is exciting. Sorry, my camera's in a weird place. All right, so let's look at this. What is that? Well, it's a plant, right? What's an adjective to describe this plant? What would you say? I mean, look how big it is, right? You could say it's a big plant. You could say it's a green plant, okay? Let's see what else. Oh, it's really bright out here. Look, what about these flowers? What color are they? They're pink, right? So pink could be a word that we're using to describe those flowers. Let's take a look at what I got over here. What is that? A pool, okay, what's a word we could use an adjective we could use to describe it. Well, we could say it's blue, right? Okay, what else? Let's see. That is a wheelbarrow. Okay. What is a word or an adjective we can use to describe the wheelbarrow? Well, we could say it's a big wheelbarrow, right? Because look at my hand on it. It's pretty big. Okay, what else? What other describing word? What about yellow, right? That describes what color it is. We could use that adjective to help us know what color it is. Let's take a look at what else we have. Oh, look, I found something that's a different color. Okay, what about these right here? You see them? Well, yeah, it's a plant, but what color is it? What adjective helps us know? You could say it's a purple plant. You could say it's a pretty purple plant. Okay, what about this right here? Look. It's a bird, right? What adjective could we use to describe the bird? Well, it's metal, blue, and it's really tall. Okay. You see how we're using these adjectives to describe different things, and it helps you understand what they are. Okay. We're not just saying, oh, I saw a bird. Right? You're telling me what color it is. You're telling me what it's like. Um, you're using those adjectives to help you describe things. There's lots of plants out here which are could be described as what? Green or vibrant, right? So let's see what else I can find. Um, oh, look, it's this one. Okay, what about this? Ugh. Okay. What adjectives could we use to describe this? We could say it's a plant. Well, yeah, it's a plant. I see that. It's pink and orange and green. It's alive. Alive is an adjective, right? All of those are different adjectives or describing words that we can use to explain what things are to help you better understand. If I tell you that I have a plant on my back porch, that's not going to help you know what it looks like. But if I tell you I have a plant that's alive and it's pink and it's, it's orange, that really helps you understand what it's like. Okay, what about this one right here? So these are what? They're flowers. But if I tell you I have a flower, you're not going to know what these are like. Because look, these aren't even real flowers. They're metal. So you could say it's a metal flower that's yellow and brown and green. And it's tall. Look how tall it is. Okay, so those are all describing words we can use. Let me see if I can find one more. Oh, look right here. This is a good one. Look at that. Well, look, I found a mushroom. But it's not a real mushroom, right? It's a metal mushroom. It's metal. It's white. And it's red. Um, so, you see how using those adjectives helps you describe what things are like? If I just tell you I was in my backyard and I found a mushroom, that's not going to tell you what that's like, right? Because that's not a real mushroom. It's metal. It's red and it's white because it could be orange, it could be green, it could be blue. You don't know. So you have to use adjectives to kind of help describe what things are like. Adjectives help you better understand what you're looking at and give you a better idea. Okay. So like I said, the quiz I upload for you guys based on this video is actually going to be based on the video, not just the information in it. So I'm going to say things like, what color was this that we saw in the yard or things like that. So 
Um, if you need to watch the video again, like I said, you're always welcome to. I really miss you guys, and I'll see you later.